All right, so uh, I picked up a three axis gimbal for uh, 25 bucks. Um, so this thing normally, if you go on Amazon right now, it's about $75. When it first came out, I believe it was like 100, which is competing with the, uh, the uh, what the fuck, um, Smooth Q, I believe. And I am not the world's uh, best person with, you know, like I don't know too much about gimbals and things like that. So I'm not going to go over the specs because I don't know what the fuck I would, I'm talking about. I'm just here pointing out that this thing was $25 at, at uh, Walmart on clearance and it actually works fairly well. Uh, and I'm going to link you to some uh, videos in the description to, to some reviews for people that know what the fuck they're talking about and uh, things like that. And hopefully some footage and stuff that this thing has created. And I thought it was like an impulse buy. Basically, I went in there and I saw it and I was like, um, it said 50 on it. Let's see, $50. And then I brought it up. I was like, oh, cool, 50 bucks. And I brought it up and they're like 25. And that meant that even with everything else that I got for my house and everything, I even got out of Walmart for uh, less than 50, even with the gimbal. So that was cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad, uh, device. It works. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to be as good as some of the big guys, but if you're just looking like I want I thought other than just impulse buying it and for absolutely no reason, I figured I could actually be a little more mobile with my videos instead of doing what I'm doing right now, which is just pointing a camera at a product and talking about it maybe I could be able to move around a little without having a shaky video or having to use software stabilization and having the video look all, look all warped and crazy. Um, so, I just wanted one of these. Literally, for no fucking reason, I wanted this, and now I have one. Yay. Check. <laughs> I got a gimbal. Uh, another thing, just throwing in at the last minute here, I thought it was kind of cool. It's, it's, I don't think you're going to want it for any professional reasons, but uh, I got it to work. It was a little hard to get to work, but it is a 3D attachment. So you put this on your phone and um, it records 3D footage. So like on my Galaxy S8, I can just attach this and it uses mirrors to send two images left and right to the phone and then you get that, but you have to clamp it on just right and you have to do things just right so, or else it won't work right. So it's a little fiddly, but it, I thought it was a, kind of just a cool little gimmicky thing to play around with. And it does work. I did get it to record some 3D footage. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get some decent, more decent uh, 3D footage and, and just play around with it a little more to see what I can get out of it. But it did work. There's a lot of bad reviews on it. And I understand because, you know, it's really hard to get it to work. Um, so it does require some fiddling. And uh, it's not perfect. It's not going to compete with, like, a real 3D camera. But uh, I thought that was interesting and uh, threw that in there. And outside of that, I have a warning. <laughs> do not, I repeat, I don't care what price it is. I bought this for 4 bucks. Do not purchase this. It was at Walmart when I was there with the buying the gimbal. Magic TV, LED, says it fits up to a 65-inch TV. It does not. I would be surprised if it actually fit a 35-inch TV. Um, however, I guess you can run the LED strips across the back of the TV and use that. But the thing is when I actually press a lot of some of the buttons, it just shuts, the whole thing just shuts off. And until I reboot the TV, it does not work. So I can only really press like red, green, blue. And once I hit white, it shuts off. If I tell it to blink, it shuts off. So it's a piece of shit. And um, that's about it. Um, other than that, so I think that's about it. And thank you for watching.